Greetings and salutations, fellow nerds. Today is Tuesday. Um, today's video will come to you in four parts. That's right, I'm incorporating the part system. God save us all. Part one, I wanted to kind of update the viewers. Uh, missing member situation. Uh, we've decided, or at least those who have commented on the forum have kind of decided. Um, right now, we're just going to do it with us four. Myself, Daniel, Morgana, and Aiden. Someone please let me know if Daniel and Morgana are right. If I finally did it properly, uh, let me know down there in the comment box. Um, but we decided that right now it's just going to be the four of us, so we can kind of click a little better, um, so we can actually get to know one another before we kind of throw someone else in the mix. I believe it was Morgana who said that we should do a what we do not like about YouTube type thing. So, uh, for those of you who are wondering, the rest of this video is going to be very YouTube-centric. Um, as far as what I don't like about YouTube, though, is I just feel as if those who actually make YouTube a community are being outnumbered right now by people who just go on there to watch their favorite kinds of music and troll. When I first joined YouTube, there were still a bunch of people who actually had the opportunity to become up and rising stars and make it on YouTube. You really don't see that as much anymore. I mean, you had people like Philip DeFranco and um, Michael Buckley and kind of to an extent Ray William Johnson who are trying to throw a bone to people who are trying to step up and make it in the YouTube world. But I feel as if the community of YouTube is kind of dying and being replaced with the corporate entity that is YouTube, if that makes any sense. So that's kind of my biggest complaint right now, because unless you have a major YouTuber like Michael Buckley throwing you a bone, because the community of YouTube is dying, there really is no chance for newer YouTubers to really make it unless they have that one hit viral video. Let me know down there if uh, you agree with me or not, if you think I'm making sense, or if it seems like I'm a complete idiot. The bathroom's a nice little area for lighting, right? Say hello to Brandon Vlogging, Brandon Vlogging, hi Brandon Vlogging. I wonder if, like, right there, you can just see, like, a never-ending matrix of myself recording myself recording. Part four of this week's video is talking about our top ten favorite YouTubers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my top ten favorite YouTubers. Honorable mentions are JPizzle1122, James Nintendo Nerd, John LaJoie, D Sigs, Maybe It's Maddie, Misto and Pizzy, No DQCAW, O Sophia, Penpoint, Philip DeFranco, Pogo Bat, Rallis P, Ray William Johnson, Red Letter Media, Rob of Psycho Stick, Rupert vs. Gilligan, Smosh, Tezande, Tabuscus, Toby Turner, Vegan Black Metal Chef, What the Buck Show, World of the Orange, Wrestling Roundtable, your favorite Martian. Now, I'm um, for my actual top 10 list. Um, I personally am going to give a little bit of explanation on why these people are on my top 10. Starting with number 10. The Munch Kim. Kim, I'll just call her because it's easier. Uh, she's a vlogger who I discovered through uh, Buck Factor on What the Buck. She's awesome. She just vlogs about kind of everyday topics like graduation and meeting other YouTubers and how just because they play this character doesn't really mean that they're that confident. And those are just the videos I can think of right off the top of my head. She actually sent me a message saying, hey, thanks for subscribing to me after I had subscribed to her. And that's just so cool because a lot of people... Even, like, the smaller, um, up-and-coming YouTubers, a lot of them don't do that. And I just think that it's really cool that she actually cares about her audience that much. Number 
That is my buddy Scott. Now, Scott is also a vlogger. My buddy Scott is, um, one of my friends IRL in real life. Um, he's a really cool cat. A lot of what he talks about on his YouTube channel, uh, he talks a lot about witchcraft because he is a Wiccan, um, but, I mean, his topics are kind of all over the place. He did a short video about, uh, what was it, like, things you never say to a gay man, which was really entertaining because my buddy Scott's gay. Um, that was entertaining. He's just fun to watch. Number eight is always having to make backup channels. So, I will refer to him as Matthew. He does a series on YouTube called Bacha Mania which is basically the best in professional wrestling F-ups. And it is absolutely extraordinary. It doesn't matter if you're a wrestling fan or not. If you like watching people fail, you will like Botchamania. Um, some of the references and jokes in Botchamania, you kind of need to know a little bit about the business and its history. But for the most part, Anyone can watch any episode of Botchamania and understand what's going on. If you want to check him out, right now his username is Matthew, M-A-F-F-E-W, versus Capcom. And then of course there's always, um, there's a channel that uploads the episodes of Botchamania that kind of flies under the radar called Table of Japan. It's number seven, I Talk to Snakes. A.K.A. Christina Horner. I don't know what it is about Christina Horner that makes me like her as much as I do. Because... For the most part, I'm not too terribly massive of a fan of her music. I'm not saying that it's bad, it's just not my kind of vibe. But... Just the kind of person that she is, like with her personal vlogs and... How kind she is to her audience and all that whatsness. Whatsness? Let's go with that. Whatsness? With all that whatsness. I just think it's really freaking cool. So, as a result of that, she's kind of grown on me. Number six, John. J O N. AKA Jonathan Paula, who is the cameraman in Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? The reason why I put his personal channel on here instead of the J Pizzle 1122. Uh, which is the channel, which is the good idea to microwave this gets uploaded on. I don't know, I just really, really like John. By the way, Riley McElwain, the sexy sidekick, um, he also has a YouTube channel I forgot to put in the honorable mentions, because I can never remember what it's called, but he's a really cool cat too, check him out. There's just something about, uh, John Paula that I really like. Um, he has a couple shows on his personal channel, um, the first of which is Game Time, which he goes through when he plays video games. Uh, he just got done doing this super funny five-part uh, Mario Party uh, playthrough with Ryan McElwain, which I thought was funny and just plain awesome. But he also does uh, The World According to John, which is kind of him talking about stories that popped up in the news, giving you a synopsis of what happened and... Uh, then giving you his opinions. Some of them are more serious topics uh, in the news. Some of them are just kind of like funny little stories. So that's a good show. And then there's also John's Adventure Vlog, which uh, if he goes out and does something cool or even if he's just going to get his mail, he'll do a little Adventure Vlog type thing. He just got done with this four-parter where he got to uh, go to the MTV Movie Awards, I believe it was, which was really cool to see. Uh, number five on SXC Phil. If you have not heard of SXC Phil, you must not be a very regular YouTuber, or you've been living under a rock or something. Um, SXC Phil, aka Philip DeFranco, um has been on YouTube pretty much since YouTube became YouTube. On the SXE Phil channel, he does the Philip DeFranco show, which isn't really a show, but him talking about stuff that matters to him. Um, a lot of times, more popular news stories will pop up. The big tech stories, the big entertainment stories. It's basically your average evening news block in 
about seven to eight minutes maximum. Number four is Nice Peter. Nice Peter is a musician. The reason why I subscribed to him, though, was because of the Epic Rap Battles of History! The Epic Rap Battles of History series is the best thing ever. If you ever wanted to see Abraham Lincoln freestyle against Chuck Norris, or Adolf Hitler go one-on-one -on -one against Darth Vader, or even Ludwig van Beethoven going against Justin Bieber. If you have any interest in seeing funny stuff like that, nice, Peter. Number three, Mika Kitty. Ah, oh, Mika Kitty, Mika Kitty, Mika Kitty. I have no issues admitting Mika Kitty is my YouTube crush. She is awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. Number two is Wheezy Waiter. Um, Wheezy Waiter I only discovered a couple months ago, uh, which is surprising because he's one of the big parts of the YouTube community. Um, Wheezy Waiter, um, every day, every couple of days, uh, just throws up just a funny little skit thing, which usually has some form of very loose central idea to it, but for the most part it's just funny. There's clones and alligator pits and the sun and punching eagles and Explosion Wednesday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't seen Wheezy Waiter, and you need to. Number one should come as no surprise to you, because number one is the Vlogbrothers. Hank and John Green have changed my life in such a massive way by introducing me to Nerdfighteria. Um, what's there to say about the Vlogbrothers that I haven't already said before? They're absolutely incredible, especially John. I have no issues admitting that John is my favorite of the two. Um, everything about them is just made of awesome, and I love that. So, Vlog Brothers, if you haven't seen them yet, you've been living under a freaking rock. Go check them out. Super Secret Part 5, I'm really hoping that I don't accidentally drop this because this is actually comfy. Um, I just wanted to comment a little bit on your guys' videos. I think Morgana had the most to say about bacon last week. So, uh, congrats, Morgana. Um... You win nothing, but apparently girl likes her bacon. Danny? Daniel? Do you mind if I call you Danny? Let me know. Getting to see a little bit of New York City was really, really cool in your video. And made me wish that I had anywhere remotely interesting to walk around and film at in Waterford, Michigan. Um, the city is just as I imagine it. Amazing. So... That was really cool, and I really wish that there were food trucks giving out free food around here. That would be awesome. The only thing better than bacon is free food. Unless it's free bacon, in which case, oh my god. Is there anything else I need to say in this video? Oh, yeah. Aiden, I'll see you tomorrow.